Hi, my name is Rowan Wong and this was my first DSLR, the Olympus E520. This was the camera that ignited my burning passion for photography. And this was also the same camera that got me to fall deeply in love with Olympus. This was my first Olympus camera, Olympus E520, and I've stayed with Olympus ever since. I have a lot of history with Olympus E520. That camera will always have a special place in my heart. I discovered photography through that camera. I did my first few commercial shoots with Olympus E520. And more importantly, I started to write about photography after using Olympus E520. Uh, basically, I share my photographs that I've taken for my shutter therapy sessions every week. And my blog started to grow. And it got noticed by Olympus Malaysia. They came to me with new products to review. And the rest is history. That is what the robinwong.blogspot.com is today. The main reason I chose the Olympus E520 was because it was lower in price in comparison to competitions, say the Canon 450D or the Nikon D60. Those cameras were about 500 ringgit Malaysia more expensive. The Olympus E520 was an entry-level DSLR, meaning that this was targeted towards beginners or people who are stepping up from the compact point-and-shoot cameras. However, the camera is packed with a lot of advanced features such as image stabilization. This was one of the first few generation of Olympus DSLRs to feature in-body image stabilization. It has a very functional live view, although it was quite laggy and a lot of shortcut buttons as you can see at the back of this camera. The camera uses CF card as well as Olympus proprietary XD card, which they no longer use anymore today. Although this is an entry-level DSLR, the handling of the camera is very comfortable. The grip is beefy and it just basically feel balanced on hand. I have the Olympus uh, Zuko 50mm f2 lens attached because my kit lens, the 14 to 42mm, is faulty. Here is the faulty kit lens, the 14 to 42mm f3.5 to 5.6. At that time, this was incredibly small in size in comparison to any other kit lenses offered by other manufacturers. Yet, if you look at the reviews at that time, every single reviewer say that this is the best kit lens out there in terms of sharpness, what the lens can do, the contrast, distortion control, and the lens even features an extra low dispersion element to control chromatic aberration. And they give you a flower petal hood, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, the autofocus in this lens is malfunctioning, so I will have to use the other lens, 50mm f2 macro. I am now currently in Petaling Street, Kuala Lumpur with my Olympus E520. So let's walk around and take some shots. You will find a lot of similarities between the Olympus E520 and the Olympus cameras today. The first is the super control panel, where it allows you to access all the important settings quickly. You can have a one glance over all the important settings, and you can set them without going deep into the menu. 
the Olympus E520 only has three focusing points, uh, which was barely enough, but uh, I had no choice but to use the center focus and recompose method. Back then, when you turn on the camera, you have this blue LED lighting up to show you that the SSWF filter is functioning. I can't remember the last time I used an optical viewfinder, so it was quite a refreshing experience using the E520. I know some people do not like looking through electronic viewfinder, mainly because it's like looking at a small television. Uh, I'm not one of them. I actually prefer electronic viewfinder because I like to see my results as I shoot. So what I see is what I get. I really appreciate the shortcuts to the important functions Olympus has placed onto the arrow pads so I can access ISO and some important settings very quickly. This was an early implementation of Live View, which was laggy, slow, it hunts a lot, it hesitates, and sometimes it gives up, it's so unreliable. Definitely, I would recommend not to use this for anything serious. You can use the optical viewfinder, but the live view is there for convenience, if you need it. Now, bear in mind that this camera only has 10 megapixels. It maxes out at ISO 1600, and it only has three focusing points. Yet, the camera delivered fantastic results. I love the white balance from this camera. It's warm and it's pleasing. I like the skin tone. I love the overall color rendition. Images come out detailed and sharp. And that's thanks to Zuko lenses. Olympus really know the optics game. It's been a while since I last used the Olympus E520 and it still surprises me at how amazing this little camera is. Although this is an entry-level DSLR, the autofocus performance is still fantastic. Honestly, I thought that this camera would be slower and I would miss more shots, but I managed to nail some quick action shots, which was really, really unbelievable. In terms of image quality, I'm not expecting much from a camera from 2008, it's more like 10 years ago. It's only 10 megapixels, and we all know that the dynamic range, the details, and everything else wasn't really fantastic in any cameras during the era in comparison to any cameras that we get today. But honestly, image quality is not everything when it comes to photography. And this is the main thing that I want to to share with all of you, right? Any camera is a good camera. If this camera works 10 years ago, it can still work today. There's no reason why the camera will stop working. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have as many megapixels as the camera today. You can't shoot very high ISO. The dynamic range is limited. There's only so much this camera can do, but if you look past all these limitations, this is still a great camera. So is any other camera out there. Stop giving yourself excuses, pick up the camera, go out and make some images happen. Photography is not about the camera, photography is about you, the photographer. Using the Olympus E520 again after all these years made me appreciate Olympus even more. The core DNAs in the new OMD cameras such as powerful image stabilization, small and light body, fantastic and sharp Mzuko lenses, great handling balance between camera and lenses, as well as feature-packed small body. All these factors were already in Olympus cameras more than 10 years ago, and I'm very happy to say that I was right there from the beginning. 
It has been incredibly fun shooting with the Olympus E520 and reliving the nostalgia of my first love, first DSLR camera and my first Olympus. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see me do more photography outings or if you want to learn certain things from me, please let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give me a subscribe and a thumbs up for this video. I really hope to see you guys again in the next video. Until then, remember to go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.